guys and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be about a haul mostly sephora mixed in with some other brands um i went shopping at a quite a few places i will let you know you know as i go along where the th items came from but if you're interested in watching these videos please continue to watch and if not please click out right now because i do like haul videos so i enjoy doing them and for you guys that do like my haul videos, I thank you for continuing to watch. I thank you for my subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you for showing me so much love. And so we're just going to get on with the video. And if you're wondering how I created this look, um, I do have a video posted about this look. So, you know, check it out because, yes, this, I, this is what I love right here. I love the glam life. So I always look like this when I'm wearing makeup. I overdo it, but it's okay on with the haul so like i said i did go to sephora and i went to some other places so first things first i'm just gonna grab randomly out of the bag it's nothing in no specific order so yes first things first that i did get from sephora is a kat von d everlasting liquid lipstick looks like that and i got the color berlin if my camera will pick it up well it's not gonna pick it up <clears throat> but to be honest with you um if the camera could do you justice on the box it looks like uh orangey or uh, orange color but berlin in actuality is like a pinkish uh, like a pink color and it is just absolutely gorgeous my husband picked this one up for me so i can do swatches so yes, on camera it's showing up very bright and in real life it is not that bright. It is a very mellow pink color, but you, I guess you can build it up to whatever you want. I do love these liquid lipsticks because they do not budge. I love these. I own quite a few of them already. I'm looking to get Lolita. So if anybody knows where I can get Lolita, please leave it in the comment section below because I would love to own Lolita. Okay, moving on. I also got another Kat Von D product and it is the Kat Von D Monarch Eyeshadow Palette. And it looks like that. <clears throat> I love Kat Von D. I don't have enough of her products, but when I do get some of her products, I just get so excited. And this palette is just gorgeous. It is simply gorgeous. I love this palette. And here are the colors in it. It comes with three highlights, and there are some shimmers and some mattes. The mattes, there are one, two, three mattes, and the rest are shimmer. So... Yes, I am in love with these colors. Love this palette, and I will be going back to purchase the other one that goes along with it. The next product I have, I picked up from MAC, and it's about time because I have heard everybody and their mama raving about this, and I'm like, I have got to get on the ball. As much as I love MAC, I do not have enough of their products so i finally got max soft and gentle mineralized skin finish and i couldn't be more pleased i absolutely i've heard some people say they don't like the new packaging but i love the packaging because it is magnetic so yeah i love the new packaging but this is what soft and gentle looks like if you have not seen it I love, I love it, love, love, love it. I am not wearing that today, but you will be seeing this in upcoming videos because I have been waiting to show it to you guys first. So, yeah. Love that project. I've also gotten a, some e.l.f. items, and one is the Hydrating Face Primer. It looks like that. And I had one of their face primers when I first started in makeup, and I did not really like it. But now that I know about primers and I know what they they do, um, you know, I do like it. So, yeah. And the next item is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. I wanted to try this because the makeup set and spray that I have is by MAC. And sometimes you just want a drugstore version of 
an item that you love and because you know let's just be real i'm a stay-at-home mom so i cannot always afford mac so i have to know there's something else out there that works and this definitely does work and it was only three dollars if i'm not mistaken and i got this from my local walmart so yes and two other items that i got from my local walmart are the high high hard candy highlighters one is supposed to be a bronzer and one is a highlight but i use both of them as highlighters and the first one is heat wave and this is what heat wave looks like and it is absolutely stunning i love it and the next one is the infamous tiki, tiki. can't talk today and it looks like from the packaging that it will be too light for me but it's guys everyone that's raved about this is so correct this is one of the best drugstore highlighters and i cannot talk today <laughs> sorry you guys so yeah if you haven't tried those please do try them they are worth it worth it worth it on with the next item i got another elf product from my local walmart and it is the elf blush palette and i got mine in the color dark Mine looks like this and i absolutely love this palette this another item that i would repurchase because these um blushes are just so pigmented i mean they're very pigmented so yeah you're not gonna be lacking any color so that is the blush so yeah love this Another item that I picked up was the Essie Cashmere Matte in the color Coat Couture. And it looks like that. You already know if you've been with me from the start of my channel, I do have a large nail polish collection problem, addiction. And yeah, this is just to add to my addiction. So, um, I've got a few items from TJ Maxx, and one of them is the Kat Von D palette in True Romance eyeshadow palette, and it looks like this. Such cute packaging, just really cute packaging, and the colors in it looks like that. Just gorgeous. I love the purples. I absolutely love the purples. And since spring is coming, this will be ideal for spring. And it also came with one of her Kat Von D autograph pencils in the color Puro Amaro Amor, Amor. Puro Amor. Yeah. So, and this guy's was jet black. So I will be purchasing a full size of this. That is jet black. So yeah i'm thankful for this but i do like the palette another item that i picked up from <clears throat> tj maxx were some butter london products and i really do not know why i picked up these products but you know i'm trying to branch out and make up you know other than what i know how to do and these are just beyond crazy but it is the butter london uh wink color mascara and this one is in the color chav or chave it's just a gorgeous blue so like i said i'll find something to do with this you know I also got another one, and this was in the color Cheerio, and you can see why is the color of the Cheerio box. Just a nice yellow, butter yellow. Camera is not picking up on it very well, but it is a beautiful yellow. I got two of their lip glosses, and the first one is in Swish, and it is just this beautiful champagne color. is the color swish and i got the color tickety boo and it is a beautiful pink and i absolutely love it 
And I think the lip glosses cost me $2.99 and the mascaras were $1.99. So, yeah. The next item that I got from Butter London is their liquid highlighter. Well, theirs is called Cheeky Tinted Highlighters. And this one is in the name Pips. And it looks just like this. I have never seen one of these before. But it is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. You unscrew the lid and there's the product. And you just squeeze the tube. And this beautiful gold color comes out. Let's see if it'll show up. So yeah, there's the highlight. So yeah, can't wait to try that for the spring and the summer because I am about that life. All about highlight life, as you can see. And from my local Walgreens, I picked up two of the new Wet n Wild Fergie blushes. And the first one is in brush of danger and they say these last for up to 10 hours but i have not worn them that long i don't wear really makeup that long because i just don't so it's this beautiful pink and it is very pigmented and the next one i got is in the color brush with brilliance and it is this sparkly coral looking color but it's got some high gloss shimmer in it so yeah next things i got and this is from tj maxx again and this is the detox system purifying facial scrub step two of the giovanni eco cheek skin care set and i'm all about you know my face here lately i'm getting older and you know, I started taking care of my face late in my 20s, but I want to take care of it while I can. So I decided to pick this one up and it is a facial scrub and it was $5.99. And I have not used this, but if any of you have used it, please let me know, you know, how it does and what did it do? What do you think of it? Because I am very interested in knowing. The next item was a big splurge, but... My husband talked me into it because I do not normally typically go for these items because I just, I can't force myself to do that. But, you know, I took the plunge. He told me to. Well, he bought it. So, yeah. It is a Chanel lip gloss in number 297 Sweet Beige. And it looks like that. Yeah, and it is just a gorgeous pinky brown with some shimmer in it. This is my first ever Chanel item. So, at first I was like, eh. And then, you know, I got so happy because, you know, I, you know I'm a stay-at-home mom. But, you know, girls dream. And this, you know, this was on my to-do list, like, you know, years and years and years from now. And I didn't think, you know, maybe I deserve this to be in my makeup collection. I don't know. But he said he wanted me to have it. So this is what it is. Like I said, it's number 297 in Sweet Beige. And it is gorgeous. Another item that I picked up is one of Elf's eyeshadows, baked eyeshadows in Enchanted. And I'm not crazy about this at all. Maybe I do not know how to use it. Maybe I can use it as a highlight. I don't know. But um, I don't know, guys. I'm just not I'm not crazy about it. Uh, comes off very pigmented on the finger. So I don't know. I'm going to try it and see. So there it is. It is Enchanted by Elf. Another TJ Maxx item, and it is in Kat Von D Backstage Bambi, and you already know how I feel about these. I love these, and Backstage Bambi was just calling my name, and this one is a really hot, hot pink, a hot pink, but I love it. I absolutely love it, so can't wait to bust it out in that. Next items I got came from 
Rue 21. And they are two nail polishes. One is in the color. I don't know what color it is in. Okay. Well, it doesn't have a color, but it's just this like fuchsia pink with blue sparkles running through it. And I think it's so pretty. And then I got a sparkly nail polish from them. And this one is called Pink Ice Multiple Dark. So I picked that up. And then I also picked up my first Lauren Mercier product. And I'm so happy about this product. You know, guys, I'm just so happy. I'm so, so happy. If you'd have been there when I purchased this, you'd have understood how happy I was to know I have a Laura Mercier store right down the road for me. So I picked up the Laura Mercier um, Bait Eye Color and Ballet Pink. And this is the box that it comes in. And here is my item. Guys, can I tell you? This can be used as a highlighter, it can be used as an eyeshadow, it can be used whatever way you want it, and it can be used wet or dry, but, you know, yeah, this was another splurge, but this is one of the best splurges that I've taken. Oh, look at that color. Yes, I love this. This is one of the best things that I have bought in a few weeks, so yeah. And you guys, this stuff was not bought all at once. It was over a course of weeks and maybe a month. So, yeah. But this, if you have not tried this, it is called Ballet Pink. Get it. Get it. Get it. Another item that I bought from e.l.f. is a blush called Pink Passion. And this is another item that I love from e.l.f. is their blushes. And this one is just so cute. If you see, I have a thing for pink. So, spring, you know, pink. Yeah. <laughs> so, pink passion. I've got two more, uh, two more nails. Sorry, guys. I got two more nail polishes from uh, Rue 21, and it is this pink and this gray they do not have names so that is what they look like it's from my local Rite Aid and I absolutely love these items I have two of these eyeshadows already and it is the infallible L'Oreal infallible eyeshadows and I love these eyeshadows these are some of the best drugstore eyeshadows I have ever tried so the first one is in Ice Latte. And girls, oh, this is everything and plus some and just back again. This is it. If you don't own this, own it. Own it. And then the next one I have is Golden Emerald. And I should have swatched that for you all. And golden emerald is just this gorgeous green. Oh my goodness. I'll swatch it. Um, let's swatch it down here. There is emerald. And then here is ice latte. That is ice latte and golden emerald. The next item I got is an Urban Decay um single eyeshadow in the color chopper and i love urban decay's eyeshadows so let's see where i can swatch this i'll swatch it right here that is chopper oh gorgeous and it's just it fits in my palette that i already have started well this is the last one so it's time to get another one and fill it up so, yeah. And that one again was called Chopper. And then I got some Fergie Wet n Wild Velvet Matte Lip Colors. 
and the first one is in DJ Doll and it is just this gorgeous gorgeous orange like a peachy orange almost like a coral orange but it is just something beautiful and it kind of puts you in the um to think about the NARS uh, lip pencils because they look exactly like them but I have not tried them so um these ones again are called the Fergie Wet n Wild Velvet Matte Lip Colors and this one is in DJ Doll and it is like a coral orange and there it is right there uh, it's DJ Doll and they say it's matte but I have not really worn these long enough to to say they're matte um they do have a sheen to them so I don't know they're not matte to me so yeah the next one I got in the same line is called pink candy and it's like a mauvey pink and this one and the next one I'm going to show you are my favorites and there is pink candy And then the last one is called Plum Plum Juin. Plum Juin. I don't know. But it's just this purple, this gorgeous purple. And there it is. I don't really go typically for lip crayons but i wanted to try these because i do love wet and wild fergie i do love her, her line so i had to try those next items that i got were just some eyelash curler like i need these really like i really need these i just didn't have a pair and i want to say i had a pair but not nah, really i don't really need these but um i got these from Rue 21 and they are just simply cute I think I got them just because of the color to be honest with you because I love these aqua green turquoise teal colors I love those colors those are my favorite colors and then I picked up a wet and wild mega sparkle confetti in the color lilac frosting and it is just some glitter by wet and wild because I did want to start trying to do more glittery looks, you know, things of that nature. And then the last two items, and I'm done, is the Rimmel London, uh, I guess you call them Rimmel London Intense Color. And it looks just like this. And it's called Provocalypse. And they're supposed to be 16 hour kiss proof lip color and my color is make your move in number 730 and I just absolutely love this color I didn't I wasn't sure what color to get but I chose this one but it is just gorgeous and then the last but not least item is another item that I picked up myself because I always said I wanted to try it but just never really did because like I said I can't see myself spending that type of money for just one item but I went ahead and did because my husband was like girl you already spend so much money in these palettes you can spend that kind of money in one lip product so I jumped for it and so glad I did the lady at the Dior counter was just so nice and so helpful and it is the Dior Attic lip gloss and I don't typically fall into the trend of buying overly expensive things but when I do see something and I like it I get it I don't get it just because everybody else has it but this you guys was just like it was popping I seen it and I said yes I have to own it and it's just like a pink mauvey color and it just goes so well i wear it i combine it with the uh these two mixed together and i put this on top and it's just like yes the perfect perfect everyday color i know this is expensive but i'm like this if i buy it and my or my husband buys it or anybody buys me makeup i'm not one of those types that you know 
puts it up and just says, you know, I'm not going to wear this because this is too expensive and I'll run out. I'm going to use it. Trust me. If I buy expensive foundation, I'm going to use the foundation because there's more at the store. So, yeah. So that is the Dior, uh, what I said was Dior Attic Gloss. And it, I cannot pronounce the name of the, or the color, but it is in number 783. There is the name right there, and you see why I cannot pronounce it, but it is in the number 783. And this is gorgeous. I do want some more of these, but I will take my time about buying these because, yeah, they are pricey. So, yeah, glad I got it. So, that is it, you guys, for my haul video for this month. I uh, thank you for staying tuned with me and I thank you for sticking with me. And if you know any friends, you know, tag those friends into my videos, share with them so they can share with other people because we're trying to get out there. You know, I'm trying to make as many friends as I possibly can. I want to welcome you into my little world, but um, I love you guys and thank you. Bye.